Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Video Leap tutorial. In this Enlight Video Leap tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to retime your videos or slow down or speed up your videos so you can make sort of um, um, speed ramp effects like so. So yeah, I did all that. Um, Handheld with my um, with my iPhone and um, and video leap, so there's nothing else used at all, just iPhone video leap, and I actually edit it on my iPad. So um, so it's, it's really really simple to do, and all I'm going to show you how to do is is just sort of do the retime. <clears throat> I'm not going to show you how to do the, the the sort of speed ramp part that I did because that will in include. Um, keyframes and stuff, but that will be in a in a later in a later video. But really, really simple to retime something. So if I uh, currently I've got this this video, and I just like I said, just recorded it handheld with my with my iPhone. I just put a box on a desk, a box of the the AirPods on my desk with the iPhone box behind it, and I just pan the camera up, try and keep it as steady as I can. So all I'm going to do, I've got my um, my video in, and all I want to do is in increase the speed so this is just about showing you how to retime so i'm going to go here to four i'm going to highlight the the clip in my timeline and then i'm just going to clip a uh, split that um that clip there let me show you exactly how i did that because i didn't um, do it slow enough i've just gone to four seconds in my timeline and i'm just going to click this little split button and then i'm going to go up to um to seven seconds in my timeline so a three second gap of where we're gonna where or three second part what we're gonna speed up and i'm gonna highlight the part in the timeline again the film and film strip in the timeline and click split again so now i've got three defined pieces of my um of my video now what i could do i could drag this piece down because we want that a little bit shorter as well maybe three seconds after so we've got four seconds before let's have four seconds after so four seconds um, you can see like in the little um, little corner of the timeline that this is now four seconds long this little clip and the speed now you can see when you have this selected it shows you the speed of the clip and it's just playing at normal speed so I'm gonna select this part of the clip and then I'm gonna go to speed at the bottom here and then I'm just gonna drag this time, this um, little slider up. So it's now five times faster than, um, than it would have normally been. So if I play through that clip like so, um, it just pans up from the table. There's a little speed ramp part or a little speed up part. And just on my, my own video, what I've done is just, um, just speed ramped it up a little bit. So I am gonna shorten this just to, just to make it a little bit nicer. And if you notice, I come from black and all I've done um, is come from below the table and then we go fast and we've got a like a, um, a sound effect there on my video, really easy to do, just look in your sound effects and then we, we pan out. But what I want to do on the pan out, obviously I want to fade it to black, I've got a tutorial on this, but I'm just going to quickly show you anyway, the opacity, so I've got that clip selected, I'm just going to click the little keyframe button in the right hand corner there, I'm going to scroll to the end and then my opacity. I'm going to put all the way down and it will automatically keyframe to the little diamonds. I have got a video um, in which to do this and I'll link it at the top of the screen right now so you can actually go and watch that if you've not seen how to, um, I think it's on the transitions one, you just um, fade to black. So now our composition is already coming together a little bit um, a little bit nicer so we're going to start fading out to black as well and it's really really short um but but yeah it is it is a little bit nice you could add some filters to make it more cinematic this is a video that i already edited anyway so i just put some some grain in there just to go with the light to make it a little bit more cinematic anyway so that's how you um how you retime videos again if i wanted to retime this one i'll just go to speed and either slow it down so you can slow it down a little bit look so it goes slower but there's no sort of optical blending so what i suggest you do instead of slowing things down here what i would generally do is just record it on my device at a higher frame rate so or use the slow-mo on your on your on your device you know you could go slow-mo 60 frames per second you could go even faster on that and i think now with the ios but but yeah there there it is really really simple really really short if you have any questions any problems or you want to know how to do more things like how i added the sound effects and the um 
and, and made it as it was. Leave them in the comments below, and I'll be back again with more videos. I'll show you to do that speed run so we um, 